So I'm starting a new social media marketing agency from zero dollars and with zero dollars, and I'm growing it to over $100,000 per month. In today's episode, we're going to dive into the Google marketing platform. So without any further ado, let's dive into it. All right, inside of my computer, let's go. Here's what I'm going to cover today. First of all, we're going to cover the Google marketing platform. This is where you can plan, buy, measure, and optimize digital media and customer experiences in one place. And you can sign in using your Google account at marketingplatform.google.com. We're gonna do that in one sec. And the two things that we're gonna fix today is first of all, the Google Tag Manager. So get up and running with measurements a lot faster. Tag Manager delivers simple, reliable, easily integrated tag management. It's free to use and we will sign up and install it. So the Google Tag Manager is basically the tool that we're using to make sure that we can install all of the pixels that we need on our website. For example, the Facebook pixel or the Google Ads pixel. And we're gonna start doing this in the next video so that we can do simple retargeting campaigns and track our measurements when we actually start to run ads essentially. Another thing that we're going to install today is also Google Analytics. So get a deeper understanding of your customers. Google Analytics gives you the free tools you need to analyze data for your business in one place. So that is something we're going to sign up with and install as well. So let's just dive right into it. The first thing you should do is to go to marketingplatform.google.com. We then click on sign in through the Google marketing platform. And the first thing I'm going to set up is the tag manager. So I'm going to click on set up the Google tag manager. And now just make sure that you're inside of your Google account, which I am max at roofmax.ai. And here we're just going to create a new account. So I can call this roofmax.ai. We can use US as the country container name. I'm just going to use it roofmax.ai as well. Here, target platform, we're going to use web. Then we can click on create. I am going to accept this and click on yes. Once that is done, they basically ask us to install two different codes in the head and the body section of our website. This is very easy to do since we have high level. We're just going to go into the funnel. I'm going to copy this first code. Again, it's going to be in the head section. I will go into Roofmax. I will go into our sub accounts and then I will go to our sites and then to the funnels, our website and VSL. And then inside of settings right here, we have the head tracking code. I'm going to paste this code right here. And then if you go back to the Google Tag Manager, I'm going to copy this code. I'm going to place it in the body tag, which is right here. I'm going to click on save. And now we're basically done. And if I click on OK, that's basically it. Now, also what I can do is that I click back here, right? I can do a test. So if I do HTTPS colon slash slash roofmax.ai, we can test that it's actually working. And I do get the green check mark, as you can see. So it seems to be working absolutely fine. That's perfect. Also, what I can do is that I can click on the preview up here. And then again, I can put in my website roofmax.ai and click on connect just to check that the tag is actually working correctly. And as you can see here, tag assistant has been connected. So it is working. It's perfect. It's basically ready to go to install some tags and make it easier for us to track stuff. And the reason why we use Google Tag Manager is because it makes it so much easier to install pixels across the entire website. So instead of having to go into the funnel all the time and copy pasting the codes in here, and they're going to be stacked on top of each other, I can just have one code here from Google Tag Manager, and then I can manage all of my tags inside of this platform instead. And in the next video, when we go to sign up to the Facebook Business Manager and preparing some retargeting meta campaigns, we're going to spend some more time here inside of the Google Tag Manager as well. So that is basically the Google Tag Manager. The next thing we're going to set up is Google Analytics and the Google Marketing Platform right here, they make it super simple as well. So I'm just going to click on Analytics. I'm going to click on Set Up. I'll click on Start Measuring right here. And then for the account name, I'm just going to call this roofmax.ai. Again, we can keep all of this ones on. That's fine. And then for the property name, I'm going to call this roofmax.ai as well. We can keep it in the United time zone. That's fine. And then the currency of US dollars as well. Business details, I can just put in where small company, industry. I can just select, for example, internet and telecom. Doesn't really matter. Then choose your business objectives, generate leads, and also raise brand awareness. Sure, that's fine. We click on create. Then I'm going to agree to this. Then start collecting data. Choose your platform. We're going to choose web. Then we're going to set up a data stream. So I'm just going to put in my website right here. So roofmax.ai and stream name is going to be roofmax.ai as well. Then we can create the actual stream. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is just to install the actual tag on my website. So view tag instructions. I'm going to click right here. Then it's going to show us do we have WordPress, Wix or all of these different ones. I'm going to click on install manually. Now it's going to tell us that data collection is pending. We're going to click on continue to home. My email communication, sure, uncheck all and save. Then what we do is that we simply click on view tag instructions and then we can click on install manually and then it says below 
below is the Google tag for this account. Copy and paste it into every page of your website immediately after the head element. So I'm just gonna copy this code right here. Then we can go into Google Tag Manager. We can go into Tags. We can click on New and then Tag Configuration. We can do an HTML right here. I'm gonna paste it like so. And we can do Support Document Write. And also for triggering, we wanna do All Pages Ads. And here we can just do Analytics Tag. And then we can click on Save. And once that is done, we simply click on submit and then we can just name this Google tag and then we can click on publish. Once that is done, we can go back to analytics and here we can simply test our website to see if it's working. And it seems like it's working. That is good. And now if we go back to the admin panel of Google, we can see now that your data collection is active so that it's working. It may take up to 24 hours to appear in your analytics account. So very quick video for today. Now in the next video, we're going to sign up with a Facebook business manager and start installing our actual tracking codes for the ads. A ton of exciting stuff. I'll see you in the next video.